Okay, so we're going to talk about um, positioning in the front court. Okay, and it starts with where do you position yourself when you're at the net? And so I've created this way of explaining the front area of the court that I think um, has made sense to people. So we're going to start out by breaking the box in half. Okay. And then we're going to break it in half again mm -hmm. where the lines intercept, we'll call neutral. Now notice that when I um, broke the box in half or broke the area in half, I excluded the alley. So you're saying only in this area here? Correct. So we're excluding the alley first on the, on the, um, where we break the cord, right? So okay. some people break the cord in half, including that alley. Mm -hmm. So they'll stand a little bit closer to the alley. But if the problem with that is if your partner's standing in the other alley, uh, same in the area on the other side, close to the alley, we leave a huge gap in the middle. Okay. Okay. Now when we break, um, when we break the box in half and we're starting at neutral, if you're ever lost on the tennis court, go to neutral. Now we're going to draw a circle around neutral, big circle or not such a big circle, it's about a six foot diameter circle and you should be inside the circle anytime you're, you're at the net. Um, now it's, it's not a huge circle and people like tend to over complicate when they're at the net. You know, they, they stand sure. in places where they, they shouldn't be standing. The, the whole, yeah, the whole I mean, time. it's really, you should, when the, your opponent is hitting the ball, you should be somewhere in the circle. If you're outside the circle, bad things are happening. If you're up there, you're going to get lobbed. If you're over here, you're leaving your whole half of the court open. Uh, if you're back here, it's too easy for your opponent to hit the ball uh -huh. down at your feet. Sure. And then if you're over here, you've committed the cardinal sin of the GG method, which is you've covered the alley. And so you're saying leave, leave all of this space open? Leave all that space all open, alley. that's not that much space. You know, it's actually a minute space and a very, very difficult shot to hit into. And uh, actually, we're gonna, we're gonna demonstrate that um, it's how difficult it actually is to hit that ball in the alley. And you know what you'll see is that it's a really difficult shot to hit for any amateur player and even for pros. And you know, the only time that I really went down the line when I was playing doubles was if the ball was just, I would call it a dead ball. The ball was just kind of sitting there. I had all the time in the world to line up and hit Go it down the line. Want, yep. Yeah, otherwise it was going cross court through the middle. I think I spent 98% of my time practicing cross courting through the middle and that's what players should do, right? Cross court through the middle. Yep. So covering this, this down the line shot is, uh, it's really a cardinal sin and furthermore if you want to cover it you can come here and still cover it because mm -hmm. you're one step away from getting that ball yep. what you don't want is to have your whole body in here outside the circle because then you're leaving you know seven eighths of the court well, 80 percent of the court yeah. for your for your partner to cover it's got to do a lot of work yeah, yeah and yeah. i don't know what kind of partner you are but i don't want a partner that gives me 80 percent of the court to cover <laughs> <laughs> right so um so we're gonna to remember to uh, stay in the circle, and I'll and also remember like when, if you really understand where you're standing on the doubles court, and you have two people at the net, should not get past mm -hmm. because Correct. the singles court is 27 feet wide, right? Very easy to hit winners on the single singles court. You can hit one ball here, one ball there. Eventually, you're gonna have a winner. Um, in doubles, there's two people uh, covering now uh, 36 feet because the alleys are only four and a half feet wide. I didn't know that. Yeah, so they're not that big, but so we we added nine feet to the core, but we added another person. So yeah. so now if I'm standing here and you're standing, you know, in the in your same box, seven feet in either direction covers the entire court. Okay. Seven feet here, seven feet there, seven feet, seven feet, and then yourself, right? So so really, uh, I want I want you all to understand what shot is likely to come, so that we stop getting past through the middle, and it starts with forgetting about you your saying, alley. Alone. We're going to leave Stay that alone away. for now. Okay. There will be some exceptions that we'll, we'll get into, but by and large, the person that is standing here, their main responsibility is to intimidate that person at the baseline. They're trying to put pressure on them. They're moving. Um, they're not just standing here covering the alley. In the circle. That's not what if, yes, okay. co correct, inside the circle. That, but effective doubles players don't stand in the alley. They are always pressuring their opponent by, you know, sort of encroaching to the middle. So, so that's, um, the beginning of positioning and uh, we'll have a lot more to cover. All right.